the air cool condenser is like a huge radiator for a power plant. It cools down the steam instead of using a cooling tower like at Basin Electric's other coal-based power plants. But this uses a lot less water. Here's how it works. Until now, Basin Electric's coal-based plants have been located near water. Cooling towers have been the best way to cool off steam. In the process, less than 1 or 2 percent of the water that's brought into the plant evaporates from the cooling tower. But the Dry Fork Station is in the middle of Wyoming, where plant manager Tom Stalkup says they don't want to lose even that much. We have to use uh, deep wells for our water. We don't have rivers or lakes or, um, you know, a source of water other than deep wells. So the option we look at is air cooled. The air cooled condenser means Dry Fork will need only a tenth of the water that's used at Basin Electric's other coal based plants. Water starts out in the boiler tubes where it's heated to steam. From there it goes to the turbine and generator. Once all the energy is out of that steam, then we take it to the air cooled condenser, we condense it back to water, and then we pump it back to the boiler and start all over again. So it's a closed loop cycle. Okay. This fan is the first of 45 to get hoisted up into the air-cooled condenser. The fan is made of a composite. Stalkup compares it to fiberglass. Once the fans are set, tube bundles will be laid over the top, more than 14,000 tubes in all. The tube bundles, the radiator if you would, sits in a triangular shape. The fan's down below it. The, the, the fan's blowing air up, so it sucks air in from the bottom blows it up through that A-frame and then the air goes out the top and we collect the water in the bottom in a header and take it back in the plant. Stalkup says tube design has changed over the years. The tubes here are bigger in diameter. Where the smaller tubes, if you froze it, it didn't take long and it would actually rupture the tube, causing the plant to go off the line. Now with this new tube design, we can freeze it and thaw it, freeze it and thaw it, and not damage the tube. Beneath the fans, the steel structure will be open to allow air in. Once the air exits through the top, it will be about 30 to 50 degrees warmer than when it came in. The air-cooled condenser is scheduled to be complete by early fall of 2009. For Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.